It is me again, and Mr. Hedwig, Professor McGonagall, has been with me all afternoon while I sewed, and she hopped off my lap, and Hedwig thought it was his turn to hop on. So anyway, I was fixing my camera, I'm making these vlogs for my daughter since I can't be with her in the quarantine right now. So this is what I made today. And yesterday, I'm running out of washcloths, so I made a little washcloth out of some scrap yarn that I had. So, I'm back to working on her project, her skirt. And he's laying on it. So, I have the side seams all completely tack down inside and out. They're finished. Can't really see anything. And the waistband is all folded in. I did a fast running stitch to make uh, long stitches to join, to merge, I guess, the lining fabric to this outside fabric. For the skirt and I left a pin, two pins in place a couple inches apart to run the elastic through and so I started the stitching over here. I'm just using the back stitch on it. That's where I started. That's what the stitches look like up close. I think I showed this on another video for you. This is what they look like on the, this will be the outside of the fabric at the waistband. That's what they look like. So here's doing a few more back stitches while Hedwig purrs to us. And I am going all the way through to the outside of the fabric, but I guess I showed that when I flipped the fabric over. It's pretty simple, because I can't see you with the camera in the middle of me. Just make even neat little stitches. It's pretty simple. We'll do this all the way around the waistband. And then we'll put in the elastic, stitch the elastic together by hand. And then I'll come back and stitch the opening closed. And then I will do a top stitch around the top of the waist, around the top bend. And I don't know, I might do a decorative stitch on that, I haven't decided. But she's interested in learning to sew and wanted to be with me during the quarantine and for other reasons isn't at the moment. So I thought I would make these videos, little vlogs for her so she can kind of see what mom is doing. And using her little skirt as an example. It's hard to sew with you laying on my hand. Look at this. This is how I sew. He was laying on my hand. I always have a cat on my lap out of four. Usually it's Professor McGonagall preparing to help do these fun projects. And they're laying on the 
pin cushion too. Start in the middle of the stitch and just go behind where the thread comes out just a little bit. I wasn't paying but I attention to what I was doing with him wiggling on my hands. That stitch got kind of long. It won't really matter. And I like to keep the needle, I guess. So that way you understand when I come in halfway along the side of the other stitch behind it, I try to make the needle come back out even with the thread where it's coming out. If that makes sense. I could have done a slip stitch or a blind hem stitch or something to conceal the stitching here, but I figured with an active team, um, this is probably going to get a little bit of a workout. Um, so I wanted to put in a stitch that would hold up to wear and tear. Active child. And with the elastic pulling on it with an active child, I thought, no, I'm not going to worry so much about hiding this stitch as to make sure this stitch stays in. So, that's it. Look at this. He's learning. to get his nose stitched up. Okay, and he's sharing his little shedding cat hair right now badly. So I'm at the end of my thread, so I will just make a couple little back stitches in the same place, and If I have enough room on my thread, nope, I can't even tie a knot in this. I'll just have to start the next stitch overlapping these a couple of times. It'll secure it. Well, I make a seam stitch in the same spot a couple of times. It really isn't necessary to make a knot. It'll still hold. And now, see, I don't even have enough thread to go over it again. And he's laying on me again. So, that's what it looks like. Try to make sure you get close to the edge of the fabric so you don't have the inside fabric fall through the seam. You want to make sure you catch all the layers. And there it is on the other side. Fairly nice and neat with cat laying on my hand. Probably as good as it's going to get. That's where it started. So there you go. Here comes cat number three to involve himself into our project. All right. Good night.